Hi guys, it's Tanya with Scraptastic Creations. Today I'm gonna to create a two page layout using Close to My Heart's It's the Little Things paper collection. This is a six by six paper pack. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take a six by six paper, paper collection and turn it into a double 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. When you think rainbows, you think red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and those are beautiful, but you don't think of black and white. And I think that this black and white added into these beautiful colors just really gives it another pop. I just think this is so cute and pretty. So I'm going to also bring in the It's the Little Things scrapbook sticker collection. So you get four sheets in these in this collection. And I look at this, perfect. I absolutely love this, enjoy life. So these stickers, if you're not familiar with this sticker collection, these are a um, high quality cardstock sticker. So they they make for perfect embellishments. And I'm, I love these flowers, I can't wait to use these. But I'm also gonna bring in the card making It's the Little Things sticker collection as well. I love this banner, but I wanna bring in like these butterflies and there's more butterflies in this boot and these flowers scream springtime to me. But I absolutely love these flowers. I think they're gorgeous and they will go with these ones and I'm, I'm gonna pull those in as well. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this is a white, like this is a scallop circle and there's banners on here and this oval frame. Um, you can stamp on these, you can color these in, um, or you can just use these like behind like your embellishment cluster. They would, they would make your embellishment cluster um, stand up even more. So these are the photos that I'm gonna use. This is one of my daughters and I absolutely love her dress. Let me get a better photo. This dress has all these, be um, these beautiful little butterflies all over her dress. And I think these are the perfect colors for this paper pack. So I'm super excited to use these. I went these. ahead and brought in two Versa mats and two sheets of White Daisy cardstock for my background. I always work on these Versa mats because I can line my stuff up perfectly and get the measurement that I'm looking for. And you can always flip it over if I need to do some stamping and it has the perfect stamping platform. Then I cut an eight inch butterfly in white daisy cardstock off the Cricut. And I'm gonna have this about here. The next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna kinda clear this up because I'm going to bring in my all purpose mat and I'm gonna bring in my mink ink and I'm gonna bring in a blending brush and we are going to do some blending. I'm gonna create a background here and another strip, and we are going to use the card front pattern stencils, and I'm gonna use this stencil. I've used it quite a bit, so you can tell it, this one is definitely well-loved. Okay, so what, what I wanna show you is, I was sure not to bring that all the way up because I didn't wanna have any harsh lines, and when I put this one down, I'm going to come back a little bit and I'm gonna line my paper up um, with this previous pattern and then go over it that way. And then I'm not gonna go up again and then I'm gonna continue and continue and continue that. Okay, so that is how that came out. I like it, it's a nice soft, subtle um, effect and it will separate these strips from the background. I've already gone ahead and laid that there. And I'm gonna have this about an inch and a half past that one. Got that border done in Lagoon and I use the light sign of, of the Lagoon. You can use um, a, a punch, um, you can use a thin cut, you can use a, um, you can even use the Cricut. So I just used a thin cut that I had. Um, then I took the um, butterfly and I put it where I wanted it to be and then I lightly traced around it. And that's gonna be my template. And I'm bringing in these inks, all the inks we used here, the, the Lagoon, the Capri, the Lemonade, the Nectarine, the Ballerina, 
the raspberry and the green apple. So I'm bringing in all of those. And I am gonna bring in um, background elements and I'm gonna bring in a few of the backgrounds. I'm gonna start with raspberry and I'm gonna have to go um, from ink to ink to ink because I am gonna try to create this Okay, so I need to clean that real quick. And I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna go to Nectarine. Okay, so I got that done. Now I'm gonna bring in this one to bring this up a little bit more and I'm gonna do it with the same colors. So I'm just gonna take like Lagoon and I'm just gonna bring this up to get a few of those dots on there. And I will do this with each one of the colors and I'll do the rest off camera. And if you want to do the first step, you're going to have to get that imperfectly patterns. Um, this one was background elements. And then afterwards, I'm thinking of bringing in the dainty patterns. I'm going to bring in this polka dot and do probably half of these um, butterflies. I'm going to emboss them in white. So I'll bring back the camera and show you what I'm doing. So that's what that looks like and I'm happy with how that came out. Now I'm going to bring my butterfly back in and try to carefully put it, align it up where that pencil mark is. But I think I'm going to bring in my mink ink and distress just around this one side. You're not going to see this side. So I'm gonna just dress around this. So I'm gonna bring my blending tool in and do that. But instead of embossing those um, half of these, like I said, I just went ahead and cut them in the pattern paper that matches the other side. So then I thought I was bringing that pattern over. So that would be a better idea. So I'm just gonna go ahead and distress this one side. Okay. I like how that comes that turned out and it kind of just gave it a little more of a separation right there by distressing that. And I did have to bring in my sponge to get um, some areas that I could not fit my blending brush in. Like I couldn't get it in there unless I bent up my um, butterfly and I did not want to bend my butterfly up. So there's that. Now, I'm thinking that I want to bring in a little splatter. And I know you're like, whoa, there's enough stuff on there. But no, for real, I think I want to bring in a little bit of splatter. And I almost want to do that in black. So I'm thinking about bringing in my black shimmer brush. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of splatter. And I even want to splatter my... Um, butterfly a little bit like just just subtly so here's where I'm at so far I really like how that came out I think that's super pretty I'll give you a little close-up of that I'm almost thinking maybe we need to bring in just a little bit of black splatter on there as well um, I just think it'll maybe tie it in a little bit more I mean, not that it needs it, but I just think it'll give it a little extra something. I went ahead and created another one of these stencil pieces for the back of my photo on the first page. So it just gives it a little something and then I'm drawing this in over here. And this is gonna go like right here. And I'm thinking that this needs a little bit of butterflies. So, I don't know I might do like the same exact color like put them like so since this is green maybe we'll put this up here um, and then we have like the yellow one I would like to tuck one in in the corner right here so uh, I'm not sure I'll probably cut a um, I'll probably cut the the pattern the blue pattern and then possibly cut the another one of the pink patterns so like here's what this would look like if there was one here so with this being here like this it's still super pretty but i'm probably going to cut a pattern and then i'll cut the green pattern for that one right there so that'll bring eh, that'll bring that in um maybe we'll 
I don't know. So that's the thought to add some butterflies in there. Um, and maybe I'll do a different butterfly. I'll bring in a different one off of that um, butterfly uh, thin cut that we have because I do want to bring in a few over here. I'll bring a few of these over here and then maybe maybe some of the bigger ones. We'll see. Um, but I also was thinking about um, those. I still got those flowers and stuff. And then I and then I'm as I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, I got an idea. So <laughs> you know how that works, right? So before I glue any of that down, I was thinking again that I'm going to bring this back in. Okay, so I want to add some of this um, this stamping splatter back over here. I want to I want to bring it over here. I'm thinking that right about here. Perfect. Notice I held that down for just a second to give let the ink press in, soak in that paper. So, oh, I love that. That's really cool. Okay, great. And then I'm almost thinking that we should add a little bit of this thing that we went on in that little spot thingy. So this will be kind of like this, but this is not gonna sit on this because I'm gonna have a little um, raspberry strip right here. So maybe, um, I might even go further down with that too. So I might come back and go a little further down with that, we'll see. Um, but I am gonna add maybe like, So we'll add that, and then, I don't know, like here. So we added that in there, and I'm gonna add, we'll add this, this way. Went ahead and brought my splatter box in because I'm ready to do my black um, shimmer on here. And um, I did go ahead and cut a piece of raspberry cardstock and I cut these dashes in it. This is about a fourth of an inch. And then I just glued it down. Um, I did cut a little tiny strip of white right here so you couldn't see through and see this lagoon in the background. And that would have been cool. But I just, I wanted it to look like one, like white back underneath of that. So I do. I don't want any black on that or on this, so I did cut like a, a strip of white. I'm just going to use that to cover it. And this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a white piece of um, cardstock. I tried the ballerina, and I kind of laid a few other colors there, and I didn't really like them behind my photo. So I am going to use um, the white, and I'm going to lay that here too, so I can get a little bit of maybe some black splatter on top of that as well. So. I'm just going to bring in my piercing tool so I can tap that off on and pull that off, get it all over myself, <laughs> and um, kind of put it where I want it. So I'm adding a little over here. So actually, before I move my um, splat box, I do want to go ahead and put a little bit of um, shimmer on these butterflies. I don't want to do a lot, but I do want just a little. So I think I want to put a um, black border around this. And I'm not going to do it here because I want this to be one continuous layout. I think that'll like enclose it and draw it in. I like that other than this where it kind of come off, but no worries. I know we can fix that. I want to build um, some embellishment clusters. So I did look through my sticker sheet and pulled off some of the ones that I wanted to use for sure. And I took my anti-static pouch and just kind of played with that. So I literally just pull it off, took my anti-static pouch and just took the sticky off. And I know you're like, you're going to stick it down. Why did you do that? Because then I can like move it around and I can like I, I just pulled this off to play with this and I was just kind of wanted to show you, look, I can do that and then I can see if I want it over here. So that's what I, what I did. So 
so I did cut uh, a couple more of those butterflies. You saw that I had a little stack of them so I could play with them and bring them in where I wanted to bring them in. And I got that, I was thinking, maybe I'll add three little, like, like a little V, like little dots here on just a couple of the butterflies with my white gel pen. Uh, I'm not sure. I could do the black one, but I just think that I, I wanted the black to be a little subtle. Um, so I, I'll probably use the white gel pen if I even do it. So we'll just, we'll go with it. So I'm going to bring this, um, the butterfly layers back in. And I already went ahead and cut up several of them, several of them and glued them together. And I, I just kind of like looking at the colors scheme. And I kind of think I want to bring this one in here and give it that like belt looking effect. And I cut this on the pattern paper and it kind of like, it has it on the sides. And I'm thinking though I might take my white gel pen and put like some dots going up here, little dashes going up here just to draw that white in a little bit more right there. Or I'll leave it, I don't know. Um, and I want to bring this color over here. So see, I've got way too much going on over here. So I'm probably going to take a, several of that out of there. And I will go back and I probably need to glue my photos down. And I will go back and kind of play with these. Um, yeah, that might be better. So I'm going to get these glued down, get my frames glued down and show you what else I'm going to do. I got that glued down. I'm gonna bring in my title off of, I'm gonna do this Enjoy the Little Moments off of the um, die cuts to this collection. And I'm thinking that I want that right here over top of these butterflies. And I'm going to put some foam tape down behind these ones to get them raised up to that level. And I'm gonna do this down here right about, right about here. So I was thinking that that would look really cute and then it kind of just draws that black. It kind of draws it in a little bit more, but we're not doing um, too much. And I'm gonna bring in the buildable tags. I love these. These are absolutely a staple. There's a few of these dies, like the layered flowers. And there's a few of these dies that are like our, our total staple into my um, scrapbook collection. And I highly recommend those tags. I absolutely love tags. I use them all the time. So this is Easter. This is my daughter's. This was Easter. And I wanted my focus to be on her and springtime and the butterflies and her dress. And this is going to be her Easter layout. This is not an Easter layout of all of my kids. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do one for each one of them individually. And I don't usually do that. So this will pull out, this is the girls and they, her sisters, my other daughters, and we, I took some photos on Easter and this is me with, and then my son, one of my sons. And so I think that this will be fun. Now I did not, I did not glue back here. I put my glue um, going down the sides and the bottom. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I made this another one. And this is her, they, we did a little Easter egg hunt and she had changed after, after church. And then I went ahead and I cut out the pocket. This is a really cute little fun pocket. I told you guys, this is a staple. And so I created this little pocket. So I have a pocket within a pocket in a pocket. <laughs> and I, then I cut these other tags out. Okay. And I'm only going to use two of them. I'm going to put them together. I haven't decided what I'm going to do on the back of this one yet. And I need to cut the little reinforcer tab, but I cut this one and then I stamped Easter here. And I just got the Easter off of the God is love stamp set. Um, I'm going to look through my stash and see if I can find a date. And then I'm going to put the date, I'm going to stamp the date on here. And then I'm going to glue these together and then put the other reinforcer on here. And this is going to be something that I stick in this pocket. So this will be fun um, for her to do when she's older. And then I'm going to build this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to journal this or I actually have a, I have a cool idea. I haven't got to that yet. We're going to get to that. Um, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to stamp something right here or what I'm going to do, but 
I'm going to work on that. Let me show you what I did. I went ahead and brought in this jelly roll, the white jelly roll, and I added these little dots to these butterflies, and I added them to the tangerine and the lemonade, and I did that over here as well to the tangerine and the lemonade. I did glue down my title and popped up the edges to make that stand up there. And I also used this right here in the middle of that butterfly. It was kind of bothering me where it was like open like that. And then I added this on my tag. So let me show you these fun little tags. So this is the tangerine one and you got the pattern on the back of that. Um, and I am gonna cut my mat. I'm gonna cut my mat um, probably from, I'm um, not my mat, my uh, protective sleeve. I will cut it from here to probably about here. So these just pull in and out without having to take it out of the sleeve. And if you've not used our memory protectors, they are real high, thick quality. I absolutely love them. And then I created this pocket tag and I got that cute little pocket right there. And let me show you this. So this, I did find an old stamp set that had numbers on it and I went ahead, they were the right size and I put 2019, which is when these photos were taken. And then I got this, love you so much. I got that stamp set from this cute little kind of a pig deal. And I got that right off of here and I just stamped it in black and then re-stamped it in the raspberry ink and cut it the little banner part out and put it on top and then made my um, reinforcers to match it. And then just stuck some of those stickers on the back of here. So some cute little messages for my daughter. And then I wanna show you something else that I did that I thought was really fun that I'm, I'm a little excited about. So um, I went ahead and created this bookmark, okay? And I'm not gonna tell her about the bookmark. And I got that from this I Am The Way stamp set. And I just masked this off with some low tech tape. And then I took the tape, I am, I um, uh, put that in some Versamark, uh, some embossing ink, and then I ripped the tape off before I stamped it. Uh, don't stamp it because it'll be a mess unless you rip that tape off. Then I added some black embossing powder. And then I used the, I brought in the black um, shimmer brush again. And so this is the I Am The Way, and then I, back that with a um, pink because pink's our favorite color and I'm going to journal on the back of this and put my favorite Bible verse and just say a little something to her. And uh, my hope is that one day when she goes through this and she's looking back that she just finds it and then she can use it in her Bible or in a, you know, whatever her favorite book is that she's reading at the time in her life. So I just thought that would be a fun little added touch. So I am going to add some some sparkles, some gems, um, probably some like bitty sparkles and some clear gems. And then I'm, I'm almost done. So if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and all the products that I use, I will have linked in the description. If you hit that more button, you'll be able to find them and purchasing from those links helps support me and I really appreciate it. So let me get those gems and we'll add those. Okay, so I added those gems. And I went ahead and add the little sparkles all around. Just give you a closer look at the page. And then I added them to this side as well. And then I just wanted to show you that I used squeeze lemonade, picked raspberry, and carved pumpkin distressed oxides on that tag and there you have it so i'm gonna call this done and it'll go in my album like this and i will put this in my page protector and i will go ahead and take the back of my scissors and i will slit this from here to here and have this pocket to where you can just pull them in and out and you don't have to worry about pulling your layout out of the sleeve and it doesn't tear it just it's it's just perfect i hope you enjoyed this till next time